Hey y'all, welcome to another video from Reckonow.com. I wanted to pull together a video that reviews how I took this old golf cart and converted it into a hunting buggy. There's an exhaustive article that includes everything I did for the conversion step by step, but this video just focuses on the end product and the features. So as you can tell, it looks significantly different. It's lifted, it has a high torque motor, and has a new look with the Realtree Edge vinyl wrap. I also upgraded the light kits for hunting hogs in the dark and added this double rifle and bow carrier from Colpin to secure my bow or rifle when traveling. If I'm able, I'll attach my bow or rifle and ride in using the silent electric motor and then I can maintain a silent entry but from a more comfortable walking distance to the tree. The Colpins are rock solid and they allow me to travel safely with my bow or rifle. I also recovered the seats with black vinyl to match the look of the rest of the cart, and I added some handles for the off-road ride. This panel controls the lights and sounds on the cart. The first rocker controls the normal halogen white lights. The second rocker controls the green spots I use for hog hunting. And the final rocker operates a relay to allow me to push a button to silence the backup buzzer when hunting. I also added a USB charger. I use this to charge my GoPro or my phone when I'm traveling in the field. The back seat was also added to the former two-seater and it doubles to carry large loads when folded down. It's a great place to place a hog if you plan to process it down and need to drag it out of the field. So here's some footage of the cart in action. It's hard to appreciate the train via the video, but the cart is built to go over just about anything. The A4 motor is the highest torque motor on the market, and it pulls hills our Kubota tractor can't. Even as a high torque motor, it has plenty of speed as well. I take it through the water all the time as the controller is contained in a case. And this is one of those hills that uh, it has no problem pulling. Really just can't appreciate how high this hill is, but um, again, the Kubota tractor can't pull this hill. So this footage is actually of the cart going off trail. There's not a trail here, I'm just kind of snaking it through the woods, and it's showing its ability to pick its one, you know, pick your way through the trees, even with a lot of leaf litter that, you know, a lot of carts would uh, spin the tires on. The comfortable ride is due to the heavy duty springs and some shocks I added that were made for a Ford Pinto. So this has been one of my favorite projects and if you're looking for a fun hobby, you might get into restoring a golf cart. Thanks.